The under the radar play that could be making big profits off to off of low gas prices. The stock is up more than 20% in the past six months. We'll talk to the CEO of CST Brands in a CNBC exclusive right after the break. Call it an undercover oil price. Uh, play shares of CST Brands rallying over the last 52 weeks. The company, which is one of the nation's leading fuel and convenience store operators and retailers, is seeing a boost in snack and food sales from those cheaper prices at the pump. And this is expected to drive CST Brands to make more acquisitions this year. Joining us in a CNBC exclusive to discuss more, CST Brands CEO Kim Lubel. Good to see you, Kim. Good to see you too. So tell us about the correlation here to your business to what we've seen: cheaper gas prices. Prices. Clearly, you know, when you've got cheaper gas prices, the consumers have got more money, more money in their pocket to spend. And, you know, towards this end of the year, we saw some increase in our sales in the stores. And I think going into our great summer driving season, we're really going to see an impact from because that. Because we haven't seen it in broad retail. Right, Everyone's right. been waiting for it in department right. stores. And, right. and even in the economic data, we learned that the savings rate actually hit the highest that it's been in years. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, I think, you know, one of those things, consumers need to know that it's going to be sustained at this low price, too. So before they really change their behaviors, Coupled with winter weather like you guys have got even today, uh, you add that together and I think it adds some noise to the sales numbers there. What are they buying more of? Is it food and beverage? You know, we sell a lot of coffee, we sell a lot of fountain drinks, we sell cigarettes, we sell packaged beverages, you name it, we've got it going. So. Is there a lag between the time you see gas prices drop and then sales pick up? Is it a three-week lag, a month lag, or is it one for one? You know, so the sales, the, the prices started dropping into the fourth quarter, which tends to be a little bit slower quarter for the convenience industry. We're going to see, I think, more coming into the spring and the summer, which is really when we drive uh, customers to our stores as well. I mentioned acquisitions. Right. Now a good time for you to be out there buying. You have, what, almost 2,000 stores? We do. We do. 1,300 company operated and a bunch of dealer stores on top of that, both in Canada and the U.S. So. And are you looking to add on to that? We absolutely are. We're, we announced four, uh, three different acquisitions in the fourth quarter alone. So really kind of wrapping up and adding some more footprint to our, our marketplace What is as well. this industry? I mean, it seems to me like there's been a lot of consolidation already in this There industry. is. You know, it's a really fragmented industry, though. Something like 126,000 C stores. Most of them are owned in, in chains of 10 or less. So uh, it's very fragmented and I think really ripe for consolidation. And we're right at the forefront of that. Kimberly, the last two quarters, great EPS numbers. Revenue slightly missed both times. Is there going to be a point where you actually start beat on the revenue side because I think if that happens that takes the stock to the next level. Sure. Well, you know, the funny thing with the convenience side is revenues are so dependent on the street price for the gas, but you really your net income is dependent on the margin that you get on that gas. So when, when gas prices drop at the street, revenues drop, it doesn't necessarily translate to lower margins. So our fourth quarter we had uh, almost historic level margins as a, as a result. Uh, what are you seeing in terms of the uh, low-income consumer? Has there been any recovery? We've been waiting for it throughout this entire economic recovery. Starting to see some signs that it's taking hold. Are you seeing that? You know, that tends to be one of our bread and butter customers. So we see, you know, they come in every day, get their cup of coffee and their breakfast before they go to work. So they're still coming to our stores every day. And are they doing a little better? Is it you know, uh, again, or? fourth quarter we saw some increase in our sales a little mm -hmm. bit faster than we did throughout the rest of uh, 14. Uh, I think we'll really see more of it as we get into to the summertime. All right, we'll keep an eye so, on the stock, certainly right. as we watch these oil prices. CST brand CEO Kim Lubell. Thank you very Good much. Good to see you. Thanks. Let's trade it, Guy. Given the growth they're seeing, 20 times.